um, fully uh, done from a stats point of view. It looks like an absolutely epic uh, crowd. And there, Charles Ullivon looks on, and Nick Berry is about to get underway. Blair King on ball and fat. Let's get going. And we do have kickoff as King Off goes. King Off, King on goes down to the right hand side. And uh, Gregory Aldridge gets his first touch back in a French jersey for the last few games before the World Cup, which kicks off in less than four weeks. It, uh, France with the more first uh, call stop is come from Nick Berry, though. Now starting to get and penalty advantage as well. So they're starting to get a bit of momentum. They're going to produce that ball, make it available. Hugh Jones. Goes it onto the basket, Blair King on, who gets it out to Carl Stain, Carl Stain, Carl Stain, Carl Stain. South African born and raised, scoring for Scotland. Scotland will start like a house on fire. France shell shocked. What a start to the match. And Finn Russell, that looks pretty good as well. Yeah, he nails it as well. Finn Russell is here to cook. He is here to cook, gents. And that is a perfect start from Scotland and a very good kick from Finn Russell. Right, uh, and what can Thomas Ramos uh, conjure up early on here? Off the boot, he's a very reliable goal kicker. And uh, he will add three points to the French tally and uh, make it a four-point game. Uh, yeah, 10 points in the first seven minutes. We're off to a pretty a bit of a flyer here. One point. Quality. High quality. Offloads are sticking. Little wraparounds, little moves here. The French defense is, is having to do work overtime here. But after watching such a scrappy and sloppy affair in, uh, in England and at Twickenham, this is like a different level of rugby. And Finn Russell will bend that in. Slightly told it wasn't the right when he started, but it does go over. So 10 points to three. And the Scotland start continues to get even better. Let's get all the back while um, Ramos does uh, look to get the extra three. Probably the right idea here from France. Try and try to sort of defuse the, the Scotland uh, bomb so far. And it's another good kick from Thomas Ramos, pretty straightforward. But France do get some more points back on the board. With regards to the, the obstruction, now quickly take a penalty there from France. And they've actually, I think they've actually bundled them out there. Oh dear, straight down the middle, Tom of Lament. Oh my goodness, I guess they're out of play. Anton, of course it's Anton Dupont. Was it going to be anybody else but Anton Dupont? And that is what France can do, like a flash. But they might need to take it back. It looks like they're going to have to take it back. They are going to take it back. It was out. So yeah, a lot, a lot of pressure. Sustained pressure as well. It uses the course. The scrum's gone down with the quality to use. They're going on the left-hand side to punt. Oh, that's going to be too easy. Intermass going to go straight through. It was so telegraph. You can see it. He's too good. Too good. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. That's so good from France. I'm not sure that was the, that was the intent. And Thomas Ramos got a lot of Scottish players. He decides he's had enough. Kicks it out. Halftime score, 30 points to 10. Very, very entertaining half. And a lot to look forward to in the second half. Let me know what you thought about that half. Down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video as well if you're new. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, I was hoping we could try and get to uh, 36,000 subscribers. We'll need another 40 people to do that. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys uh, very shortly. She had to do much today, apart from scoring the try he did score. And that's a really good tackle there from Scotland, driving a few players back. Now Dupont, there's, a, there's, there's an overlap, there's an overlap, there's an overlap, and he's over. He, of course he's over. This man could very well be the top try scorer in the World Cup. He's going to score tries for fun in four weeks' time. He just scored that for fun. Pino is a proper, proper finisher, and that is the perfect start from France. Great kick from Dorman as well.
as the extras and France all of a sudden open up a uh, 10 point lead within three minutes in the second half. Yeah, Dempsey, I don't think he was actually expected. He gets it away to Blake Kingon. Who finds a pretty good uh, clearance. Ramos decides to take it quickly though. Goes to Anton Dupont. Dupont wants to run. Gives it away to Ramos. And runs the supporting line. Oh, goodness me. Thomas Ramos is still going. Inside ball to Charles Olivon. He's going to go himself. That is diabolical from Scotland. Brilliant from France. And not just like that. Game, set, and match. You just had that entire talk about what we need to do in the second half. What we need to start well. We need to put them under pressure. And then you go and start like that. And just relieve all the pressure. But anyway, Scotland now need to start uh, finding a way to... Uh, the ball's gone. Blake King was about to pass it and then realized that the ball had uh, pop popped on the way in. That is bizarre. Has anybody ever seen that before? Ramos is having to get across. Finn Russell comes up nice quickly, makes the tackle. Hugh Jones is up there to add some support. So not uh, quite working out for France, but still got a bit of forward momentum here. Now DuPont going on the right-hand side. Ball over the top towards Penno, who's going to kick and chase here. He's lethally fast. Jordan van Merve is putting a lot of effort in this. He's going to get there first. Oh, Penno's gone over. Uh, I think this could be a try. We might have to check a couple of knock-ons, but this could very well be a try. Nick Berry's going to go upstairs. There's a four-person foot race. I mean, I have to have a check here. Which means that if he plays any part in this, he's technically offside. Now, let's have a look here. Does... Well, there's a knock-on by Intermac anyway, so the try's not going to stand. I think he's actually offside in the, in the first place, to be honest. I would actually be going back for a Scotland penalty. No try, knock on wide, Scotland scrum. McInerney from uh, Gregory Aldrich. Front, uh, Scotland wants to go to the left. Good read from uh, Anton Dupont. He puts a big hit on Sebastian Yvonne. Now Finn Russell. Gives the pass to Hugh Jones. Hugh Jones straight through the middle. Hugh Jones straight on the outside. Is he going to make it? He's looking for the pass. He's just short. David Pennant, there's no way he released that, Mr. Ray. If you slow that down, really good work from Scotland. They're right on the... Oh, they're throwing... Oh, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Story Sutherland going there. In the last... Five, ten minutes will just come alive once again. Now to Pilotto. Almost through. Playing advantage there. That's got to potentially be looking at a card there. With the momentum. There must be a warning. And they've taken it quickly as Finn Russell. They're just short. They're just short. And they're over. Finn Russell. Take a bow. Scott and take a bow. This is going to get interesting. Finn Russell wants to chip and chase himself. He sees a bit of space. Good read there. Very, very good read. And they get the offload there to Charles Audubon. To Gabriel Valeria. Oh, no! That's a brilliant tackle. Carl State, take a bow. He's still going, there's Valeria. He's still going. He's going to go all the way. Oh, that's a phenomenal tackle. Ollie Smith, goodness me. Well, Finn Russell trying to do something was almost the, uh, the master of his own undoing. And Ollie Smith is coming with a phenomenal tackle. Scotland really on the front foot here. They're not giving up without a fight yet. That's really good from Scotland. Let King on getting further down the park. And Horn now putting it in behind for Carl Stein. He's going to stay inside. Stein is over. Scotland are level. What a try. What a try. Thomas Ramos is a world class goal kicker. Absolutely world class. So I don't expect him to miss this with two and a half minutes to go. One and a half minutes to go. 90 seconds to go, actually. Right in front. Right in front. Is this going to be a heartbreak for Scotland? It's going straight down the middle. He turns immediately and France, with less than nine seconds on the clock, take the lead once again. Thank you very much. We don't really care. Bang. Back-to-back -back wins against, against France. It'll be unbelievable for Scotland. I think regardless, I think they've just thrown out a huge warning to a lot of teams to say that they are not to be messed with. France go up, but Scotland do bring it down. No, it's knocked on. It's knocked on. That's the game. Oh, that's heartbreaking for Scotland. What a game, though. What an absolute corker of a game.